All right, lads, welcome to the year 867. We are playing as Half Dan of Jorvik. So we've just participated in the invasion of, uh, well, Northumbria. And we need to win before ye old Ivar the bonus does, because we want to take as much territory from this as possible. If I switch over to him, you can see that if he wins, he'll take, well, actually, hang on. No, we're fine, don't worry about it, I'm lying. Uh, yeah, so today what we're going to be trying to do, as you might have ascertained from the title and thumbnail, is we are going to be trying to secure the High Kingdom of the North Sea. Uh, for that, we need to hold the Kingdom of Norway, of Denmark, and of England. Uh, no one holds those titles currently, and then I have to hold them for 30 years. So, uh, a little bit tricky. So, some of you might be wondering why this is even a decision, and the history behind it is actually really, really interesting. There was a king uh, in English history called uh, Alfred, Alfred the Great. You can see him over here. Where are you? Go on, Alfred, tell me. There he is. Oh, Alfred. Pretty good. Uh, the only great in English history, as most people believe, but that's not actually true. Uh, Alfred would, in fact, drive out the Vikings and, and create this idea of England. At which point, Knut, a Viking, a Dane, would turn up and just conquer everything. He would conquer this, he would then conquer Norway, and would conquer Denmark, and basically be Knut the Great, because he created the North Sea Empire. And like, uh, as an empire, that's not that hard uh, to believe. These areas were quite linked culturally and uh, economically to do with uh, trade. They had a nice little triangle trade going on. You also had links from a lot of um, Danish and Norse people lived in the, in England at this time because they migrated over. Uh, so it actually wasn't that big of a like surprise, but what happened after Knut's death was that he had no interest in keeping the empire together, instead having a different son rule over each kingdom. Uh, in 1066 and 1066 start, it is this claim uh, that Harald Hadrada uses. Well, it's kind of tenuous. There was a promise made that, uh, I can't quite remember this, but one of Knut's descendants, there was a promise made that he would uh, inherit England if the ruler died, right? Harald Hadrada, fresh from like serving the Byzantine Empire and getting a load of troops together, defeats uh, the Norwegian king in battle, basically becomes Norwegian king, and then claims he inherits the claim that was a dubious promise to begin with. And that was his justification for invasion. So today we're going to preempt all of that because Canute was in the 10th century and we are going to uh, do it before he did. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and massacre these troops. This is gonna be a very short video if I immediately die. It's not an easy thing to do this. How old are we? 39. And our heir is... Uh, do I have anything better? My daughter's not bad. The truth speaker. You're good. You're very good. But you can't be my heir. And also you're over here. Player is unmarried. Okay. Well, let's just um, take the loss and see if we can't get a little eugenics program going. Now, people said there was something to do with traits here. Inheritable traits. Wow. Okay. My bad. Did not know that was a thing. Uh, Maria sounds good because she's got high enough stewardship. Should also raise the rest of my armies. Oh, there was no need of me doing that. <laughs> there was absolutely no need. I just screwed over my, uh, my brother. Whoops. Sorry, mate. My bad. There was a legit just no need. That was so unnecessary. Oh, and I think he's dead. No, I just became the, the head. Okay. But finish sieging that, you idiot. There's no way I'm never taking sea walls. Grandson and he's quick. Perfect. Ooh, that's a lot of attrition I'm taking. Did not realize. And also these guys are special soldiers, so they're not going to recover. I have just handicapped myself immeasurably. Oops. Yeah, they don't come back. All right, well, I'm going to have to massacre my brother again. Just to stop him from sieging down my lands. You don't need to do that, you know. All right, this should be it. 100%. There we go. Enforce demands. Do I not have a wife? I do. All right, well, stage one has to be that we're going to be trying to form England. I want all of Jorvik under my control. Let's hand off this stuff. Pity King Ayla. Let's tear his ribs into blood wings. Why not? It's always fun. Why do you have my... Oh, Say fine, but why do you have him? How did you how did you kidnap him? Oh, look at that. Hastings here. Oh, and Northumbria's uh well, it went into Lothian and now it's this. Okay, so England. We are about a quarter of the way there. Actually a third. I, I think I need to be illustrious to start conquering duchies, right? Yes, okay. So let's start going after just individual provinces first. Why am I fighting you? Bro, don't do it. Nice, we got a war horse. One of my favorite things. And of course. I always call it Bucephalus. Bucephalus was an awesome horse. So simple as that. I'm a history nerd, lads. <laughs> you can't have expected anything else. Ah, oh, and immediately we get an event to make us stronger. Perfect. For those of you who are like curious as to why I care about that, is this. Look, this strong horse, this one singular thing gives me 10% levies increase, prestige to a hefty degree, and also prowess. It's, you know, very useful. Let's go stalwart leader to make sure we don't die when we're leading these battles. We get 100%, so we take Lindsay, or you know, Lincoln. And we take this guy captive. Let's go ahead, negotiate released. Uh, recruit and demand conversion. We'll make him a champion. 
You can fight for us now. If I look weird like this, like all the time, it's because I'm like constantly on the verge of sneezing. I'm quite ill. So, you know, I'm just like looking up to like my lights trying to get me to sneeze, but it's not working. You've been asleep for four hours and now I start recording you turn up, cat. Okay. Yep. Hello. All right, let's host ourselves a feast. Just trying to get that prestige up. Call a hunt. It's a bunch more prestige. Perfect. Raise a rune stone. Put it in Durham. No particular reason why. <laughs> my nephew wants an alliance. You have three troops. But, uh, no. I can make my daughter into a shield maiden. Let's go off to East Anglia. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. My son looked to learn the Turkish language. How'd you do that? You know, Norse East Slavic and Shaz Turkic. Who did you find to teach you that? There we go. The province. Screw it. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to give him this. He hates me, but I think it's funny. Oh, Alfred's now in charge. Okay, I'm getting close to that illustrious tag. 3,800 troops. Okay. Easy targets are all gone now. You have 4,000. Again, I'm tempted to go early. Bear in mind also, I'm, I mean, I'm going for England first, but I also need to unify Norway and Denmark. But when I can get myself the illustrious tag, I can, I can do this a lot more effectively. Although invading kingdom be exalted amongst men for that. To be honest, I might as well go for something like this. Even though it's not really part of the North Sea Empire. Lathe, come on. Stay historical. You got this, buddy. Okay. Yeah, that's not increasing. I can only imagine it's because those guys are all special soldiers. Yeah. Because I don't want to fight anyone big just yet. Just bought myself a pet dog. Nice. Bloody raiders, man. In fact, why aren't we raiding? You know? Oh, we have a truce with you. That's why I can't raid you. Right, let's raise some raiders. Where do we go raid? Uh, you've already been raided. I'll die if I raid you. Let's go raid island. Oh, island's pretty much completely been raided. Strong and agile war horse. Uh, let's go raid whales. Can't imagine there's much there. Yo, let's go, we're a journaler. I love journaling. Look at my bear pelt, nice. And we're a berserker, awesome. How many troops do you have? 1,300. How much loot do we have? Yeah, we can still like raise a lot more loot. Oh, another dynasty legacy. Uh, army loot capacity, it sounds good. Then we get more gold from ransoms and that'll fund our wars. Okay, we inherited Cambridgeshire. Now let's go back to Jorvik. Oh, we declare war on you again. Okay. Actually, how close are we? Mm, kind of. Is it worth just like... Well, East Anglia is smaller, so I'm tempted to just go after them. Aww, it's, it's, we've got another puppy. I want to keep it. Why is that not an option? Damn it, game. I came in to have fun, not to feel things. All right, 100%. There we go. Thank you. All right, we are now exalted amongst... Uh, no, wait, we're illustrious. Perfect. As we go off to Mercia, we go for a duchy. The entire petty kingdom of Mercia. Excellent. Sieging it? Okay. Can't tell. Oh, there you go. Nice. Here you are. Uh, it's only like a thousand troops. Okay, let's go. Veteran Jorvik. Marshal trait. Perfect. Uh, let's start going down the left-hand tree. I believe we can go straight to his capital now. Ooh, we're going to start losing troops. Oh, there's 100% the now. Perfect. Excellent. There we go. Disband. And hand these out. I'm going to have to start giving these to my sons, aren't I? There's literally no one else. Can't have many of those special soldiers left. No, we've got none. 900. Can I get rid of them? They're really, like, really messing with me. It's another 900 troops, which is always good, but, like... I don't want them. It's convenient I raised up my troops. Uh, okay, Holy War against Rodri the Great. Gwened. That's fine. A traitorous, treacherous atheist. Damn, we can't actually get that many uh, good allies. It's going to be a tricky one. Okay, maybe with one of my sons. Okay, perfect. That's two allies. I can only call them one of them though. Oh, there we go. That's the second one. What's this war for? I kind of tempted to give it to him. It's a lot of bloodshed for that little province. Mm. The temptation is to go after Alfred now while he's weak. Weak her. Because he's going to outlive me. My son is um, a content gambler is one way of uh, saying it. I was going to call him an idiot. Oh, God. And then the line of succession goes from that to a misguided warrior. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be dead soon. I've got to I gotta do something. Well, I mean, i to get some more men at arms. Some Varangian veterans. More Varangian veterans. Recognition is all for, his nor for Nordic self-rule. And a king of my own equal rank to his. I get a truce for 25 years. Nah. He's now called the weak. Excellent. Bjorn's dead. Right. You know what? We're going for him. East CX, call in the boys. Oh, no. Oh, what? One of the boys? Okay, he's called in his allies. My temptation is that I can probably beat him in one or two battles. Like this one. Oh, that's a close one. We are outnumbered here. <sighs> Does not matter, apparently. Let's go straight for Buckingham. And then hit him whilst they are low. Dude, the Varangian's doing their work. And then some. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's only got 200 troops. It's fine. Can join all the likes. Oh, that's not good. It's hasty. Oh, Jesus. What does he want? Yeah, I can't afford that. Uh, defensive. Defensive. Get an alliance with Ivar, but he's currently getting destroyed. Uber also getting destroyed. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to need money. 
Or should have that money button. Uh, also known as ransoming. Okay, let's win this wall first. That should do it. Come on. There we go. 100%. Perfect. That's you done. Now we got up north. My wife is dead. Let's marry someone else. That's a stack wipe. Let's march in on this guy. Boom, another stack wipe. Okay. Stop raiding me. Anglo Saxon populists. That's fine. It's easy enough to deal with. Just need to kill the populists. Up there. One lot of populists gone. Where are the others? They keep on like heading to the sea. It's really annoying. Okay, things might be slightly bad right now, but that's okay. What happened to my wife? Did she die? Where is she? Why? What? Give me her back. There we go. That's the Catholic uprising dealt with. How many times do I have to beat your ass, dude? Just give up. Stop running into Scotland. My dog's dead. Truly a sad day. I've inherited London. It's nice. Let's sit 200 men down there just to hold the siege. You gotta stop raiding. Okay, what's that done? Right. Now, just need another duchy title. Northumbria. Then we can ransom some prisoners. The key part is I need to unite England before I die. Because otherwise my lands get split too uh, drastically. The kid's dead and I'm close to death. Oh boy. Yeah, I can't afford to pay for this stuff. Okay, there we go. King of England. All right, one down. Two more to go. Now I can die in peace. I'm a jewelsome kid. Nice. We're gonna go with the safe ones. Oh, no, hang on. Let's go Berserker. There we go. I want to fight alongside this dude. Excellent. So what happens on succession? Firstly, let's do that. On succession, I lose the Earldom of Northumbria and the Earldom of Durham. That's honestly fine. And I'll play as this idiot. Honestly, isn't even that bad. It's just this one's gonna suck. There we go. I'm dead. Now I'm alive. Let's get you to manage my domain. I'm gonna have a couple of rebellions, but we should be able to put them down without too much trouble. Player I need a marriage. Come on. Why are you this bad, man? It's actually a really useful uh, little have this. Gillian. Oh, she's only got three in stewardship though. Eh, yeah, we could divorce her later. You, you went down the theology tree. You got 20 in theology. Fair enough. No, you know what? I, that's okay. How have you increased in power since we last met on the field of battle? Let's flex our muscles a little bit. Do I have the same issue of special soldiers? Not. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I need them to die. So I'm going to send them into that. Well, that's too late. Honestly, it's constantly defending ourselves against raiders. It's miserable. Uh, special soldiers, right? There you go. Can, can you just get wiped out, please? Thank you. Okay, that then shows us exactly how many levies we have. Perfect. All right. More Anglo-Saxon puppet things. And we instantly win because I was standing on the right province. Excellent. That solved all of our, uh, or most of our domestic instabilities. That's good. Let's give this all player and son. Now, for the decision. Secure the High Kingdom of the North Sea. I need to completely control the North Sea Highlands, uh, which I don't currently do, but that's okay. I don't need to do that like for 30 years. I need to hold the territories for 30 years. So right now I formed England. I should be focusing on forming Denmark and Norway because I need to hold those for 30 years. And then after that, I can completely control the North Sea Highlands, if that makes sense. So these I have to hold for 30 years. This I can do last second. So let's do that. We are on a timer here because you have to do it before we reach the high medieval era. Okay, what are the North Sea Heartlands looking like over here? Yeah, we need to fight Sweden. That's terrifying. Let's begin our invasion of Norway. All right, I reckon we... Well, I was about to say we reckon we keep marching on the coast. Who the hell are you allied to? The Northman army. Oh, Smolensk also owns Frisia. That's not something you see every day. And Wallachia has been split. <laughs> sure. Weirdly enough, it does appear that Denmark might be the easier choice initially. Just need to get to Illustrious. Let's start heading over there. No, what? That was my birthday present. Legit, the fight about warfare book was, was my birthday present. Or my dad's birthday present. It's mine now. Can't have it. There's a lot of enemy armies swarming around. Don't know which one of those are like hostile. To different individual. Oh, Jesus. I swear to God, I never have enough supplies for anything. All right, we'll catch him here. That was a closer battle than I was expecting. Just destroy some rebels. My cat keeps on trying to knock over my camera. I've inherited Hereford. There's a lot going on. Oh, Den Denmark's formed. I can only assume it's because uh, Sweden split into, into two, so it created a new kingdom for the other son. I don't know if that makes my life easier or not. Well, that doesn't make my life easier. Now playing as an idiot. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So I didn't have... So I didn't have a kid with my, uh, with my, with my queen then. On. Just all you had to do was impregnate your wife. And instead you got caught cheating. God, what a lame character. Mm, how do I play this then? There's going to be a rebellion and I am not as strong as my father. One, two, three, four, five. Does that mean I have like another one up here or something? Yeah. Okay, let's think. Nowhere near where we need to be. We're 37. I don't even know if this guy's going to do anything in his lifetime. We've had two rather disappointing characters in a row now. 
Oh, hang on. You don't have any friends. But I am a sinner. Bro, this character, can I kill myself? I, I can. Brilliant. Well, let's wait for our kid to come of age. Oh, God. Pensive and impatient. Please, kid, do better. Right, let's see if we can keep improving Yorvik, at least. The areas around it. God, he's 37. He's going to be around for a while. So let's at least go on a pilgrimage. Finally, you also have minus 44 prestige. Dude, what are you? Meanwhile, you've managed to ally Jalen. All because you couldn't keep in your pants. Really? Miserable excuse for a king. It just goes to show, it really does, that, like, history is made and lost through, like, good and terrible kings and their children. Like, Prussia became, like, a, from a middling regional to, like, a, a superpower because they had a series of, like, three and four really, really good kings. Obviously, surrounded by the right people, geopolitical context, that sort of stuff, but, like, four, like, good kings. You know, none of them were, like, incompetent. It's the most important thing, really. Like, you can get away. If you have a good king, you can get away with it being followed up by an average one. Making so Alfred, he just keeps on getting stronger. He could march in and take England if he wanted to. All right, here we go. Anglo-Saxon populists. There we go, we've won the battle. All right, educate child. That's my other kid. Stop educating him. Well, Wessex is split up. Dude, why couldn't you be, like... It's illustrious. It's... You're just so bad, man! God, I wish you were anything else. Don't have the strength to take on you. We don't really have the strength to take on you. I want to expand in England to try and just secure us a, a decent base. Divorce my wife. I've already got a kid. I'm just going to go for the uh, excess stewardship. Ah, I wondered where his troops were. Turns out they're in my lands. Wonderful. I'm getting so sick of raiders. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find where these guys come from. I'm going to, I'm go, I'm like, I, I'm going to go for like zero tolerance. Let's go raid you. See how you feel about it. Oh yeah, come back. See what happens. You know what? I'm, I'm actually so sick of you raiding me. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and conquer you. This one, yeah? All right, let's see how it goes, buddy. You made me do this. I, like, you raided me. I don't want to be here. Waste my resources on you. There we go. I don't want this land. It's not part of England. The hell is Munster? What? Why? Oh, that's so annoying. I'm going to keep conquering in Scandinavia. We slow going until we get the whole uh, illustrious thing. This guy's already in prison. Oh, the chieftain is Skane. Skane's over here. Ooh, he's a 13-year-old boy. Yeah, that's, that's not a good look, Chief. Make sure he doesn't turn up in England. Worryingly high chance to happen. Sort of really often. All right, there we go. Ooh, the branch of the sacred tree of the Temple of Uppsala. That's actually really useful. Sweet. Do I put that in my court? No, we'll just, we'll, just uh, we'll put it... Oh, we've got two of them. Two of the branches. That was a bit greedy. They're treated separately. And they stack. No, they do different things. Okay. No idea where we got those, but we have them. Give our bastard son some stuff. We're looking a bit rough. Let's just nick stuff from them. Let's go after Jarlan. You're fighting like three civil wars and you decide to fight against me? Like, really? Like, who are you? Why are you even... I'm gonna kill you anyway. My six-year-old boy killed a man. I've had about eight stewards in the last year. They keep on dying. All right, let's kill someone. Why not? All right, we've managed to turn it around quite a bit. Still not quite illustrious. We're getting there. We can nip in and take you, finally. I've seen he's gone to England. You have, haven't you? Watch him turn up on the coast. Oh, no, he went to Denmark. Why do I care about Denmark, dude? It's fine. Hang on, someone's ready, me. Oh, it's some random other... I don't care about Denmark. You can quote me on that. that that's, that's as true today as it was when I'm playing this game in the year 915. And I'll tell you why. There was a brief three, four minute period of time where Tunisia was going to go through. We were beating France in the World Cup. It was amazing. And all we needed to do is not have the Danes lose to Australia. That's all they had to do. They just had to draw to Australia. What happens? They lose. So, you know, I don't recognize Denmark as a sovereign state anymore. So, sucks to be them, I suppose. Still so salty about that. <laughs> Been months. Okay, how much do I need for the King of Norway? That's a lot of territory. Iceland, I could take all in one. I think you're all little independent ones, aren't you? And that's all part of the kingdom? Yep, okay, well, that's quite easy. Let's just keep nipping and taking you. All right, we've rescued it a bit. I thought I was gonna have a miserable time as this character and successor. We have 25 prowess, what do I have? 30. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna throw money at him. I'm gonna berserker at him. All right, what's gonna do? Tire him a little bit. Catch a spear, bang. And we kill him. This was a fight to the death, by the way, which means we are innocent of all crimes. That's how I got away with shoplifting in uh, in Cornwall once. <laughs> the security guard accused me of stealing, so we had a, a fight to the death. The story is less impressive when you find out that uh, due to uh, employment crises, it was a 75-year-old woman, and I nominated a champion. <laughs> I wasn't risking the loss. I don't want to take that L on my record. Undefu uh, undisputed, undefeated, lads. That's, that's what I strive to be. All right, the Aldama Powers is on the list, lads. Never forget what they did to us. All right, let's go ravage the lands. It's Fickle. Ah, uh, Fickle's fine. Let's go raid Shropshire. Oh, what? There are more of them? Oh, they're down here. Well, I defeated the main army, at least. Uh, where was I? Right, raiders. Right, we are going to take 
casualties here, but it's worth it to siege down his capital. Not that we're gonna get anything, you know, beneficial out of this beyond uh, retribution. Oh, an interested mace, nice. All right, every single bit of his land's burned, but that doesn't mean we can't also kill his army. I wish I got to, like, take his loot. Oh, God, I've gone to... I'm in the sneezing phase of the illness now. That's right at the end. Whew. Hopefully that signals an end to this stupid illness. I did take a day off uh, yesterday, which was nice. I'm just sort of rested. First day off in a while. That's quite nice. I've uh, I just started watching The Walking Dead. Oh, and I'm almost dead. That's better. So that's two and one. I need some armor. Okay, succession should be pretty easy. Nothing lost. Perfect. I just need you to come of age. Otherwise, you're going to have a horrible time. Just don't die, okay? Become ambitious. Do it. Come on. We got this. Keep me alive. Nope. I need everyone in prison. Uh, otherwise, my son will... Holy, what's this? How do you have 3,000 troops, man? Oh, I can conquer duchies now. Oh, it's a bad time to die. Okay, um, screw it. Let's go for this land. Come on, buddy. I know I said you were useless, and that's, that's because you are, but just stay alive. We can get a lot more done if you could just stay alive for a little bit longer. I'm tempted to, to declare, like, six wars. Come on, buddy. You've got this. Look, you got a got a horse. Isn't that nice? Nice little war horse. Stay alive, buddy. you got this. Look, you've got promising prospects. Your so yours is called Bucephalus. Gnarled of a Brittany. Clever girl. Well, that's definitely killed me off. Little grill, that's nice. Oh, we've already got 100%. When you're imprisoned, it is like sort of stretching the idea of what Crusade Kings is, right? So E4, you know you play as a nation state, not necessarily your ruler. Uh, whereas Crusader Kings 3, you're definitely playing as your character, right? But if I'm in prison, why can I do anything? Okay, you can do some things and not you're prevented from doing some things. One thing I wish you could do is like, if I go to like the Yaldo in Brittany, I wish I could get myself back. Well, you died in captivity, but the first act this kid's gonna do is raid Brittany himself. All right, let's find ourselves someone to guard you. I just touched pretty good. What are we focused on? Marshall, okay, so we need someone good at Marshall. Which is no one. Oh, hang on. The court jester. Yeah, that's actually kind of funny. He hates us. And notice how no one's gonna revolt because everyone's already in prison. Could you not educate me? I already have two other wards. Well, it's, it's nice life for some. 28, too old. I'll figure it out when I come of age. This is for my father. Lustful, lustful, or chaste. Lustful gets me into a lot of trouble. Let's do it. <laughs> Who speaks the Anglic language? Assuming you lot do. <laughs> Let me just check. Anglic, okay, yeah. Uh, try and try and learn Anglic. Oh, nice, we learned the Anglic language. Very useful. Uh, what? Anything that says I've been a bad boy, I'm just not gonna click on. It's just, I'm just not giving the internet that sort of ammunition. You're about to come of age. Come on, when's your birthday? 5th of July. So 5th of July, I can uh, go ahead and get rid of that. Oh my God, 3,000? I can fight that. I know where you're from. I was a little bit older. Oh, this would be great. Let's see, can we win that? We can, because that is a decent defeat we've inflicted. And we could genuinely turn around and attack him. But yeah, because nah, you're going to come over here and siege me, aren't you? I'm not converting. I like being a star, even though I can't pronounce it. All right, can you train me, please? Oh, God. I'm gonna save some kid from drowning. All right, we've become a skilled tactician. We still look like a kid. Where is our aunt, who is infirm, possessed? She is loyal. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Right, we need to marry someone who's got decent enough stewardship. They don't have any inheritable traits, but honestly, I just want the stewardship. It's worth more to me. I'll give it to my friend. There you go. Good job, kiddo. So, this is gonna be the kid to do it. I have six out of eight required counties. I need two more. Actually, close to illustrious already. So, I'll fight Denmark. Who you don't forgive me for saying this, but who are your parents? You look like not that Scandinavian. Oops, it's the wrong place. Oh well. I'm leading my armies at 16. God. What, what was I doing when I was 16? I was like GCSEs. Very different uh, era we live in, huh? Someone's raiding me. It's the Pharaohs. That's fine. We're coming for you next. Here we go. 96, 97, 98, 100. Now, how to stop raiders with this one simple trick invade them and burn their little villages to the ground. Who else is raiding me now? Based out of Gotland. Well, that's, I mean, you live in Sweden. That kind of sucks for you, bro. Feel bad. I should probably be using my money to do up York a bit more. I physically can't. Okay. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Earl of Iceland managed to kidnap me. Bloody wonderful. This is why you should always lead armies yourself. Never be left at home. Right, buddy. It's not going well. Anyway, back to what we're doing. Go ahead and conquer that. Should give us Denmark. Once we have Norway, we can start looking at conquering the North Sea Heartlands. We'll have like 30 years to do that, you'd hope. Who the hell are you? Moray? What's your problem? Oh, for Orkney. Bro, it's Orkney. Yeah, men are gonna die for Orkney. 
There's nothing there but a bunch of birds and rocks. I stuttered because there's literally nothing there. All right, let's turn up over here. A bunch of the lads, the kingdom of Sweden's come to my aid. Okay. Oh, I don't even need to be here. Perfect. All right, you should all be weak still. Oh God, you have so many allies. Probably should have crushed you and had the chance. Can use up the kingdom of Denmark. We're close to being illustrious, which means conquering Norway would be a lot easier. There's only 10 counties for Norway. And unfortunately, a lot of those are in Sweden. Lads, just go for Orkney. Why are you messing around? Wait, what? Scotland's in this war? On my side? It looks like Scotland. It's not quite. You took Orkney, lads. There you go. Go and capture him. Yeah, he did. Nice. Look at that. Easy victory, that. Raise a cheeky runestone. All right, and we are illustrious. Okay. Now, 5,000 men. Damn. What are you? 800. That's, that's more than 800. That is way more than 800 men. Where the hell did you come from? So unnecessary. You must be fighting in someone else. Oh, everyone. Everyone's trying to take that province. Okay, well, it's, it's mine now, lads. So, do that information what you will. Oh, you're going miserable to fight. I think that invasion's gonna be the key. Okay, so I have to be exalted amongst men for that. Otherwise, I've got to go duchy by duchy. I don't have the piety for that. Uh, instead, let's go after places like Wyke or Wiki or... What? <laughs> I don't think it's that last one. Could be. <laughs> we don't, you know, know 100% how people pronounce things. It's not an insignificant chance. Well, it's insignificant. It's not like a 0% chance that someone in history pronounced it. <laughs> Who the hell is raiding me? Okay, well, if it's in Denmark, it's fine. I've been over this. Well, the Scots have joined against me. I don't think that made any sort of difference. I'm going to keep auto raiding. The reason I took that is because this is a tribal holding, so I want to give it away. I need this one to be a boy, just so you know. No pressure. And we go ahead and uh, nip in, take out Derby. Where did you get 3,000 troops from? Now. Stupid name. Let's call you Milas. <laughs> way worse because even if i were to form it today i'd still have to wait until it's 55. really control north sea heartlands that's a lot of sweden needs to take uh two provinces off of denmark and conveniently oh i actually needed this uh, area wow okay nice um i don't need any of wessex i just need do i need kent no i don't that's those are just my borders like well done i need kent but i thought wow look how convenient it goes round no that's that's just me being dumb Exalted wants men's gonna take ages. Actually, got 700 ducats. What I can do to drum up my prestige is this. Let me check. Does ransoming give me prestige? It does, because of the dynasty legacy. So, all of my vassals, this is gonna destabilize the kingdom for sure. But I can do this. Let's give him this. I did mercy, I didn't I? Find someone who doesn't hate me. You. An irrational follower. Perfect. What other one do I have? Let's create twice or hickey or. I'm not gonna make the same joke. Don't worry. What? No, I, I did. I'm sorry. Okay. You're actually close to exalted amongst men. Perfect. Any other duchies? I'll do some ones over here. Oh, I'll give it to my friend. There you go, mate. Jarland as well. Hand it off to this guy. Hey, a little bit of restructuring. In the meantime, Wakia has maintained uh, its policy of splitting itself into two, this time east and west instead of north and south. So good for them. Caspian Step, that's a cool name for a ward. Now, what else could I do? Let us call a hunt. Alum Justin's actually going to be really useful. Daughter. Someone's trying to kill me. It's good to know. How good are you? Pretty decent. Okay. Why do you have 17 votes? Everyone else is voting for my son. Yeah, the only person is this guy with 15 vote strength. So how, why is my son in second place? Literally no one is voting for just this. I'll sort that out later. Which is my way of saying hopefully it doesn't come to that. Because I'll murder. That's what we got the most spent. Well, you know what we can do to raise capital? Grab myself some raiders. Okay. How many troops does West Frankie have? Not enough to stop me. Let's go to Paris. Ile de France. Okay, I want to point out, remember when I, I married that girl, she had no relation to anyone and then suddenly rose up to be the king of Novgorod? Sure, man. That's actually really impressive. You were like a nothing count. I only married your daughter because she was good at counting. That'll help with our prestige. There we go, Exalted Amongst Men. I'm going to raid a bit more whilst I'm here. Why not? I'm the only one strong enough to raid this place anyway. Look, he's chasing us up the, uh, the coast. All right, let's nip home and get ready for this big old Swedish war. Invade the king of Norway. Let's, uh, let's call in our buddy of Novgorod. Why not? We'll invade from Norway itself. Then our guy has a chance to catch up. Immediately don't have any supplies. I think a smaller army to defeat the smaller army. Oh, there's one province here that could do it. Rest up our troops a little bit. All right, sweet. Group up. They've run out of supplies now, and let's just blitz them. Hopefully we can capture someone important. Still it died though. That's a very cursed position. Well, is she like in charge of... Oh, she's actually fighting. That sucks. Why are you losing supplies still? All right, got to note that. That's 7,000 troops. You know what? You can do whatever you want, chief. 7,000 troops. That, that gives you the right to raid my land. Prince Bercy. Ah, oh, of course you were trying to kill me. You duplicitous bitch. As an act of tyranny! Bro, he tried to kill me. 
What do you mean? All right, let's march through, fight another battle. Now, she is leading these troops. Oh, Gwenid is involved, but they have immediately been kidnapped, so I mean, I don't think they're doing too much. All right, I'm just gonna hope I can capture something of hers. It's important, because Norway is so unforgiving in terms of attrition. Okay, please pick up someone important, we did not. That sucks. I mean, when life gives you lemons, you don't complain. Oh boy. Okay, that, that did severely weaken us though. We do have Norway under our belt. I don't know if we'll be able to we form Norway, do you think? That surely that's enough provinces. I'm not even sure who I'm giving these provinces to. Did I inherit some over here? Two, three, four, four over here, five, six, that's six. We've got two somewhere. Wait, does the invasion cast about like give you everything like including the places you siege down? I didn't know it worked like that. Why do I have like <laughs> Stockholm? Okay, we can create the king of Norway now. Not sure why he'll become the part of the kingdom of Sweden. Okay, so we have all the kingdoms. We're only to hold them for 30 years, so we're almost 62. And then we need to control the region. So we need to take out Kent. We need to take out Kent and one or two other places like Sleiswig, Munster, Vestfold, and this place. I'll be able to sway a couple of these guys in. How did you replace me? It just kicked your ass in a war. Head of our dynasty. What have you been doing to our dynasty? Oh, okay. I can't complain. I'll, I'll take that. Good, good job. All right, let's make sure we don't have a psychotic break. Let's call a quick hunt. Okay, you've lost a lot of your allies. Okay, dude, we've got 10k to ourselves? Okay, yeah, sure, we'll go after you. Well, hopefully the Swedes actually help, because they could do. Oh, they are, nice. We have 25,000 troops to our name. Okay, I'll go do that in a bit. I just, just gotta fight France real quick, apparently. When and why did that happen? Go ahead and hire a holy order. Fight to the death against the French? All right, we're gonna need some help. Let's call in the Swedes. Meanwhile, you've captured, you've captured two provinces. I mean, I'm sure you're going for my capital right now, but honestly, not that not that bad. We do have an outbreak of smallpox, though. That that kind of sucks. Ah, my son and heir died of smallpox. It's not what we want to be seeing. I'm, I didn't, though, so that's good. I'm immune to smallpox now. Six victims. All right, I really need these lands, France. If you could just calm down, that'd be great. Okay, why am I still in the Scotland War? What would I get? I don't need money, so we'll just get a white piece. I just need my troops to not starve to death and we'll we'll, uh, we'll come out of this okay. Okay, it does appear the French are retreating. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I'm pretty sure if you ask the English who they'd rather, you know, be ruled by, the Scandinavians or the French, it's a pretty easy choice. When did it take Hertfordshire? 95%, it'll all be over soon. God, this could've been such a quick war. There we go, 100%, perfect. All right, now I need more kids. I'll have to take some concubines. Do I have any other sons? Oh, I do have a son. Okay. Yo, he's strong! I'm sorry I ignored you. I didn't know who you were. Uh, let me get rid of this concubine then. Enjoy that. Force me to serve as a concubine. Minus 60. Set aside. Minus 20. Really can't make your mind up, can you? Alright. Let's go after you now. We are approaching what I hope to be the dramatic conclusion of this saga. There we go. How many more do we need? How many more? Let's see Heartlands. That's all done. That's all done. We've taken those points as well. It's, it's just these two, isn't it? I might be able to... Go off your vassalage, but you're not gonna accept that, are you? Whoa, someone trying to kill me? Bro, Valdemar, what was this about? Ooh, I can give him critical stress. Let's give that a shot. He's accepted. The fastest blade in England. There we go, excellent. Conceded the fact that he tried to kill me. I feel like it doesn't really work like that, does it? I'd rather just, you know, have him not try and kill me. Vassalage actually kind of close. I can't swim because he's in prison. So why can't I like pay his ransom? I'll give you my daughter. In 30 opinion, would that be enough? I, I I had to do this to secure the kingdom. You don't understand. I'm sorry, child. All right, send you over there. The rest of you lot, I'm gonna go to Munster proper. And we merely need to live another 20 years. Which is the harder said than done. Like I'm liable to die at any given moment. Ooh, I actually need some mail. Where is it? Hakan mail, perfect. 9900, perfect. That should be it. Oh God, I'm gonna lose so many troops. Oh boy. Okay, I've become a drunkard to make sure I don't like hit critical stress. Okay, so. Have I done anything right? Yes, okay, so I just need to hold everything. 30 years. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna make it to like 60. I don't know when I formed it. I admit I would like to be thrown into an at Stark Canadian. <laughs> don't read into that. All right, so. How do I find out when the Kingdom of Norway was created? Title history. Created, oh, perfect. Created, does it say when? 13, no, it's been 10 years. I need to go up to 69. 20 years, come on, survive 20 years. You got this, buddy. Oh, no. In the meantime, let's just reconquer England and get my cat to not attack my camera. Very worthwhile pursuits, these things. I wish there was a hotkey to change your rally point, like a control click or something. It's really annoying to have to find where I put it previously, then go and select it. Also, let's grab ourselves 
Instead of big men, let's grab ourselves a... Uh, ah, I was looking for siege guys. All right, well, Varangians, I suppose. Okay, we just attacked an army that was a little bit bigger than ours. I'm gonna go send 6,000 men to deal with 900. That makes sense. Oh, we won a battle whilst we were down. Sure, I wasn't paying attention. So we son and heir captive. Perfect. What's the mons? The old capital. We'll give it to our son. Don't mess it up. Much. You, you, you can enjoy yourself, you know? Uh, now you don't have any allies, and you also don't have any troops. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and conquer you. I wanna make the borders pretty, you know, for the thumbnail. I'm sick of that. He had 17 troops, I swear to God. And then he suddenly turned up and had about 4,000. I know it's the Holy Orders, but it still annoys me. That's 76%. My son comes of age. Uh, strong herbalist, but... He's paranoid, ambitious, and gregarious. Not bad selection of traits. He's just a bit useless. Who's raiding me? Just, can I turn off a notification for Denmark, lads? If anything, like, you know, throw some confetti up in the air. There's the 100%. Hand these off. Okay, above our direct vassal limit. Well, we do a thousand, so... Go ahead and create some duchies. Non conversion. Said no. Does that give me reason to imprison him? No. Damn it. Look, I just... I need something to give this stuff to. Why is challenge your... your... King, oh, Grant title, the Earldom of Essex. There you go, it separates you from Denmark. Actually, it's quite a cunning move I just pulled off there. French and Catholic, I'm so sorry. My son can be Jarl of Wessex. Oh, I should swap my vassal limit. Now, to fully unify England, I only need one more province. Cheshire, and I suppose that one. Okay, so like two more provinces. Are you asked through? Oh my god, you are, that's cool. I kind of feel bad for conquering you now. Not really, I still remember when you raided me that one time. Well, it wasn't you, it was your predecessor. Nation states don't have a memory. No, wait, it's the opposite, they do. Look, it doesn't matter, I'm just here to kill you. Oh, they're back. Every time I'm about to declare war on someone, or, or during a war. Come on, there's nothing here, fear the Norsemen. I feel like we're pretty definitively in control. All right, England's been held for 30 years, nice. 17 more years. It appears Sweden's gotten involved again. Big up Sweden. Despite the fact that, you know, we continually conquered them for a while. Oh, this is gonna be rinsing. Oh, this is gonna be... Miserable for them. I'm just gonna nip to the capital. I've got a big family, you know. Oh, twins. Okay, I need to drop my stress. Where's the feast? How long has drinking binge gone for? Two years? That's a long binge! Let's take the provinces so that I can actually... There you go. Stop my attrition. Excellent. Okay, well, that's that's England, like, conquered, right? Well, we've got one province to take. We're probably gonna get crusaded. That's okay. What's happening over here? Like, what, what, we, what is this? Who keeps on just nicking territory from them? All right, if my timing's correct, pretty soon. 29, yeah, two more years. Oh, it's convenient. We did one in 49, one in 59, one in 69. Cool. It's every 10 years. We're actually close to when Canute would have done it as well. It's stuck to a nice little historical uh, time frame. All right, three months. And I can go to war and claim these borders. Norway. Go off to Iceland, I suppose. Yeah, let's do it. All right, half your land over there. The other half land on the eastern of the island. Bang. If we're lucky, it'll be like the British invasion of World War II. Although it does not appear like it's going to be that way. Go, 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 this way, this way. Look, selecting you, go. Are you Christian? You are, that's why you suddenly summoned the wrath of God. And we're now called the foolish. Are you kidding me? That better get taken out by the great. Otherwise, I'm going to be super upset. The scenes when you call the man that, that forged three kingdoms together, the foolish. Right on track. Denmark's been held for 30 years. We now just need to beat this, which we should do. There is nowhere to hide on this island that has any sort of supply. Screw it. We just gotta keep fighting. It's our only hope. We just keep running. Get them to submit quick. It's us or them. There you go, 100%. That was bad. Of course, Anglo Saxon probably just want their independence. We have like two provinces that are Astara over here. Wait, can I reform the faith? Fueled by pain. Whoa. Okay. What a sick, sick puppy. I'll send you money. Does that make you wanna. Eh, close. Can't sway a child. Well, if I can't sway you, I'm just gonna murder you. I mean, this is. This is silly. I should just accept it to be my vassal. Well, Yal Valdemar, despite the fact that I attacked, like, fought him, uh, still wants to kill me. I just duels him. Trial by combat. Thing is, he's better at fighting than me. Well, hang on. Chieftain Meltapad. What the hell are you declaring war for? It seems odd. There are one province mine. Do you have, like, allies? You do. I'm still just gonna take your one province and then murder you. Realize that, right? A strange war. One over the direct vassal limit. That's fine, I can fix that. I don't go through and like read all my vassals and everything else. That takes ages. It's one of my least favorite things about this game. I, uh, my kid's dead. It's fine. But I, I didn't actually declare war for this province. I think one of my vassals just took it. That's pretty cool. Someone else is trying to kill me. You know, the Byzantines seem to have been attempting to take back Rome, or at least the remnants of their empire. That's done. They're doing pretty well there. East Frankie has just been in permanent turmoil the entire game. 
Lothring has just been hanging out. Uh, also, this area went from Asturias to Leon to Castile. Then India's had like three massive kingdoms that just keep on forming and collapsing over and over again. Let's get Wonderlust. I don't know what's been going on over there. We're a living legend. We're about to become a religious icon as well. Find new empire. Well, that is the idea. Oh, religious icon. It's close. About to turn shiny. There we go. Religious icon. 10,000 prestige. You're pretty soon. Do this. We're at 69. We're very close. Man is 62 years old. He's a wise man. We've just, jo we've just joined the early medieval era, which is why I didn't play in 1066. I was originally planning on doing this with uh, Harold Hedrada, but uh, I thought this would be a more substantial challenge. And also, the other one's just a mad rush because of timings, but like right at the start, you can get two kingdoms. So I don't really feel that, I feel like I could have done it in one, like in one lifetime. All right, and with this, we can grab the profit traits, which means that we can go ahead and reform the Astaru. We're gonna make it fundamentalist, lay clergy, Temporal Head of Faith, i.e. me. We go for Medicamp Preachers as well. Warmonger and Blot. That will help with our... The reason we're doing that is to befit our brand new empire. Secure the High Kingdom of the North Sea. The kingdoms of England, Denmark, and Norway are a natural match. Rich, fierce, bound together by trade and noble blood. If only someone could overcome their individualism, wedding the three permanently. Bang. The High King of the North. It has long been my ambition to unite the great kingdoms of the North Sea beneath a single permanent crown. For years, I have toiled winning recognition as a great ruler of each of my realms and in turn, and today I make good on my dream. After extracting carefully worded oaths of, un of unceasing fealty from key vassals, Saxon, Norwegian, and Dane alike, I acknowledge my office as High King, the undisputed overlord of the North Sea. Mayhaps my descendants will continue to rule the kingdoms as one. Mayhaps they won't. Thankfully, it no longer matters, which was uh, Knut's... Uh, Presumably it was Knut's uh, ideals. He just sort of like created the kingdom and then just split it immediately. Who wears the lesser crowns? All shall bow to the Fitzerk High King. We gain Defiant High King. Nice. Significant boost to any convert, convert faith and encounter speed against organized faith. Come to your lieges of different places. Gain a thousand fame. Get a, a color that's kind of hard to look at. And then we've also obviously reformed our faith, which means that converting our areas. In Jorvik actually only takes two years, so we can convert a lot of stuff real quick. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we'll leave it for today. We have formed the King of the North Sea, uh, and we shall leave it at that. Sometimes CK3 can be a bit of a drag, and this time was not one of those times. I actually really, really enjoyed that one. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see more of this sort of content, make sure to like and subscribe so you get notified of upcoming videos. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.